Hello everybody, Scrapbooking Sandra here and welcome to my stash dive and a little bit of Christmas in July. So let's get started. I am most definitely digging deep into the darkest corners of my supplies. This is a done with one kit by Creative Memories. It's at least 10 years old. This is by Pebbles, not so old. <laughs> um, and these two Chamel kits, one is regular, one is her foil kit. They're both Christmas magic and everyday stickers. I really want to use that deer somehow. My little bling on the right there, some more Chamel buttons. What else do I have here? Oh, this vellum, also by Chamel. It has uh, these cute little stars on it. So I wrote my gel, my journaling on it with a gel pen and it came out oh so pretty <laughs> so anyway let's do this I'm this is a five by seven photo that i'm working with and i don't think i've scrapbooked too many larger photos um they usually end up in frames on a wall or a desk somewhere but I really like this particular picture, my daughter coming down the steps on Christmas morning and a nice close-up of her face and that gorgeous smile. So I thought I'd work with it and see if I could still do what I would do if it were a smaller photo, which is to make the page uh, very busy and full of Christmas stuff. <laughs> so whatever Christmas stuff is. But I wanted it to look very festive, very holiday, kind of busy, you know, to really show what's going on, even without writing anything. I mean, when you see Santa, you kind of know it's Christmas. Um, but I, I don't know, I just wanted to like kind of almost work the same way with this larger photo as I would as, as if it were a smaller one, if you know what I mean. Because when it's a small photo, it's really easy to throw things on a page, lots of embellishments and everything because you have lots of space. The larger the photo, the less space that you have to work with. And I didn't want to kind of hold back on putting out all of this uh, beautiful embellishments that I have that I've been itching to use just because I'm using a larger photo. So I figured it could work if I placed it right. <laughs> So let's see what happens. Am I rambling? Yes, I'm rambling. I had three cups of coffee today. What can I say? So sometimes I look at my layouts and I wonder, what's my style? Um, I, I I know styles change from you know one layout to the next. You know, you can do one one way, do the next one a different way. But I always feel like a part of me it's like making gumbo. <laughs> It's probably a good thing I'm not eating what I'm making here, but I take a little bit of this and a little bit of that and, you know, some, something from over here and something from over there and all these different products that you mix up and put it on your page, the pot, and voila, <laughs> you have a dish, a layout. And that's kind of what this feels like. Um in a way, when you're mixing and matching a lot of different products. So I do want to try at least for uh, when I start making my baby album, my baby's 19. <laughs> yeah, 19. So, you know, don't feel bad if you have a box full of first year uh, photos. I'm right there with you. I think I might try a kit or two or three. I might end up mixing up those kits, but it'll be nice to like have a kit and just work from one kit and see what happens. Um, there are products that I, I kind of favor, that I go after, and I'm not um, uh, promoting or selling anything here. I just like what I like. <laughs> and uh, so I, I do use a, a lot of uh, Bow Bunny and Chamel and uh, Tim Holtz. Uh, who else do I use? I know I'm leaving off a list of names, but 
I, I float around, I guess, and those three products I use a lot. They might pop up in any layout, even in my scraps. Uh, and uh, Seven Gypsies, I like Seven Gypsies. But, and it's nice mixing up those products. They, I, I don't know what it is, so many scrapbooking products, uh, whether whoever makes it, it seems like you can marry them together. It's like making gumbo. <laughs> Only we're scrapbooking. Are you getting this? Anyway, but sometimes the, I get this urge to have uh, everything uniformed. Um, and I want to try doing that without it, um, I guess, cramping my creative uh, juices there, or my energy. So I do want to try it with my baby album, and I think that's why I'm having a hard time uh, finding the right paper and, and kits or whatever, because it's not something that I normally do, is stick with a one particular kit. And I've been given lots of advice that, you know, kits to look at and, you know, try this and try that. And so I'm starting to pull those out, look at them, and, and see what they have. So that baby album will be starting soon. <laughs> but uh, I, I don't know. I'll try sticking to a kit, even if it's for a page, and see what that feels like for me. Because I, so far I haven't been very good at that. Um, but it'll be fun trying it out. And I think it's okay that I'm not good at sticking to that one kit or one, you know, line of products to make one layout. But it's also fun exploring and trying new things and uh, and pushing yourself a little further. And for me, this is a push. I mean, it may not seem like much. I'm not trying to build a rocket to the moon or anything. But it is me as a creative person or scrapbooker just trying to uh, to grow, to try something new, to push myself a little bit further, and hopefully get better at what I do each time, and and have fun, you know, doing it in a process. And I love trying new products and new ideas and uh, putting a little bit of a twist on things. And so for me, that one kit Sandra, if I can do that, that'll be big. Anyway, I am at the end here. I'm going to try putting on a few little embellishments, maybe. And I think I am done. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Not even time-wise. Here's a closer look. Like a little Rudolph's nose. I don't know how the temperatures are where you are, but here it was really hot. Felt like 105, I think it was really 92. So looking at these snow-covered trees might, in my head, cool me off. <laughs> Along with my iced coffee. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I have a few stills for you to see. Have an awesome day. See you next time, and happy scrapbooking.